And recording. I think it's pretty stiff. This is probably uh, this is probably uh, 65, maybe 70k equivalent. But as it goes more. It gets tighter. I imagine as it heats up, ah, the lockup will change. But we had to make these tools to bolt onto the cups so that we could show that it moves and ensure that it does not bind. Um, when you're servicing these couplers, you have to move the plates so that you can release all the air pockets inside of them. Um, I would imagine at your shop, if you ever decide you need to rebuild this thing, I would probably run um, something similar to a, uh, a vise, something like a bench vise, and then use these to turn the shaft um, as you're servicing the coupler. Um, but you're gonna have to service the coupler from the bottom because you'll have to service it at the top so you can wash the air bubbles bubble out of this side of the coupler and you can leave the ports, uh, the fill and drain ports free um, so that you can see how they bubble out. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. But this is definitely gonna move your car pretty hard off the line. Jesus Christ, just a quick video. Notice we are doing this. We are adding about a four foot, probably about a four foot, three foot breaker bar, which is amplifying our, uh, not only our range of motion, but the torque, giving us a little bit more leverage. This thing is pretty, pretty stiff. And we are working out all the air bubbles from the system before ah, we service again, check for air bubbles, any leaks, things of that nature. This will be a little bit of exclusive content for you guys. More coming. <laughs> 